What is the 60-30-10 color rule and how does it apply to you as a website designer and how you build your client's website? Fabulous question. That is exactly what we were talking about in today's video. So design principles state that in order to have a harmonious, appealing to the eye design, that you need to have three main colors in varying frequency. And this is done correctly. When you nail the 60-30-10 color rule, then you also lead people on websites to your calls to action. And you will ensure that your visitors take the action that you want more often just in the way that you have laid out the colors and therefore kind of drawn them to the important bits of the website. This rule actually originally came from interior design, but it makes perfect sense on websites or on apps as well and will really elevate your design. First, I wanna show you some examples of this from interior design so you can kind of get the idea. And then we're gonna talk about how to apply this to your websites. Okay, so here is an example in interior design. So we have a beautifully designed room right here. And you'll notice the primary color, the thing which you is kind of like the background, the canvas is our white color. It is present in the walls, in the ceiling, in the rug, in the couch, in the plant pot holder, all those different places, even in some cushions and everything. So you'll see white is very present in this image. Then I would say the secondary color or the 30% of color is the brown, the wood tones that is very consistent in the beams on the roof, on the floor, on the coffee table, and on the image above the fireplace as well. And then the final one or 10% is the green. So we see the green primarily in all the plants, both inside the room and outside the room as well. And so there we have a perfect example of 60, 30, 10, 60 being the white, 30 being the brown, and 10 being the green color. Now, this room here has taken it to the next level. This is, I would say, a bit harder to pull off because their primary 60% color is actually green. And so it's a full, it's full on color color. It's not just like a blank canvas like white is. So you'll notice the walls, the plants, the carpet. Oh, and also in the um, piece of artwork there as well, incorporating some green into it. So green is the 60%. It is the dominant color in this image. Then we go on to see that the, I would say the like, yellowy gold color is our 30%. So present in the floor, in the side table, in the lamp, also in the artwork and in the bar cart, we can see this like yellowy gold color happening. So that is our 30%. And then our 10%, I would say is our pink and that is present in the chair. So again, perfect use of 60, 30, 10 in interior design and the use of colors, but done in a bit more of a bold way by making the green the 60% dominant color. And then coming over to this example here, we have again, white is our primary color. It is our 60%. The brown, the wood is our 30%. And then I would say that the black is our 10%. You see that in the lampshades, in the stove, in the uh, stairs, and also on the faucet as well. So that is our 60, 30, 10 broken down in another interior design example. So here I have a canvas. It is broken down into three rectangles that represents 60% of the space, 30% of the space, and 10% of the space. So I'm going to go ahead and change the colors here to give you a bit of a look at how this breaks down when you were designing a brand. So let's say we want our white is kind of the easiest, I would say, to start with. If you're designing a website or an app or literally anything, starting with your 60% being some sort of like, I don't want to call white not really a color, but like not really a color or like a shade or something very neutral is easiest in order to design really well when you're getting started. When you're getting more advanced, you can definitely get into having this be some sort of a bold color, like in our interior design example of it being the green. I would say don't do that in your first website, but maybe after a few websites at a bit of time, you can start getting into having your 60% be some sort of a bold color, but generally it is some sort of a shade or some sort of a neutral color. Now with the 30% that you want to have, let's say you have like two primary brand colors, you want the 30% to be the one that's a little bit less eye-catching and I'll explain why in a second. So let's say for me, we would do this beige color. And then for my brand color, the last one is my blue. And so that one is, as you can tell, like the blue is a bit more standout than the beige is. And therefore we want to use our blue for our calls to actions on our website. So that is an example. So we have our 60% is the white, 30% is the beige, 10% is the blue. This reflects my brand, but let's try to change it up a little bit so you can see what it would look like for someone else's brand. So again, we want something a bit more muted for the 30%. And then maybe 
go for this for the 10%. Again, the 10% color, that is the most standout thing out of the three. And that is extremely important for what I will show you in just one second. So this website here is the absolute perfect example. I stumbled upon this and I was like, yes, they absolutely nailed this. When you have images in a website, it does make it a little bit more challenging um, in order to just use like three colors. But generally I would say this website did an incredible job of not having the images kind of like take away. And it was still very much so like you can tell the three primary or the three colors being used on this website is the white as the background. That is the 60%. The gray is our 30%. And then the orange is our standout color. That is our 10%. And that is what is used. You'll notice for all of the call to action buttons. So this is an absolutely perfect example of nailing the 60, 30, 10 for a website. Now I have another one for you, which has taken it a little bit further and has gotten a little bit more bold. And that is our Alice writes copy website. So this is actually one of my past students of my score secrets business course. And Alice did a beautiful job of making her 60% color, something really, really bold. So she went for her blue as her 60%. Then she has it's kind of like a white gray color as her 30%. And then you'll notice her 10% again, orange, very standout color. It's in her logo. It's in her calls to action, a little bit of her text. So you can see again, perfect use. Like there's not too much happening, but your eye is drawn to the 10% color. So again, that's why you want that to be your standout color. All right. I hope that was helpful for you in terms of improving your website designs. But remember, if your biggest issue right now is not just picking pretty colors for your clients' websites, but actually booking those clients in the first place, then do not miss my creepily correct quiz on which client finding method matches your personality type. You can take it at pbcourses.com forward slash quiz, and it will tell you exactly the marketing strategy that you should be doing, which you are going to love and which is going to book you a ton of dreamy clients. Now, if this video was helpful for you, please do share the love, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel and be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you'll be notified when new fabulous content just like this drops on the channel every single week. And if you're looking to binge watch a few more YouTube videos, then I highly suggest also checking out these before you go too.